Hello, this is Sharon Chan from Phoenix, Arizona, and this is my piano live, and it's really live, it's not recorded. And, uh, sorry, I'm a little late, but, um, I'm not really a morning person, and, um, I had a jaw surgery a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago, so I'm not in the greatest shape yet. But I want to show you some of the pieces, um, that I'm working on. The first one is, um, a Chopin-based but it's going to be upcoming, and it's going to be called, uh, it's going to be the successor to the Dragon Waltz.
So the first song I played was, um, it's going to be the successor to the Dragon Waltz, and it's probably called the Phoenix Waltz. And the second one I played is the Nocturne in C minor, which is based on the Chinese uh, poem by um, Li Bai. Li Bai is a Tang Dynasty poet, and the poem was called Thoughts on a Still Night. And also, um, I also have a cello, violin, and piano work based on that too, by the same name. And um, I do have a cello, I have a violin, um, an orchestra with, it's a piano quartet actually, and it's like Pop Goes Classico, it's called um, What Was I Made For, and it just came out, and like art imitates life, so in the same vein, um, there are things that happen to me that um, bullies and stra sabotage, and so I wrote that to express my um, feelings about that. And um, I'm going to keep going on with some classical. Um, some of these, li the lives, I didn't test it out. It's going to YouTube, but it didn't go to Twitter. I'm not sure about um, Facebook, but I'm going to continue to play things.
I just want to welcome everybody. This is Phoenix. This is real live. It's not taped. So you'll see bloopers. Um, I have a pedal, and sometimes the pedal just, I can't control it. So I played, this was the dance for Baby Swan, which is part of my EP, um, Trois Petit Merceau. And some of them are pretty popular. La Corge d'Amé has almost, I think it's almost 400,000 streams. Um, maybe I'll play that. And then um, I played uh, Moon River, which is part of my Romance in Time EP. I have about three piano EPs, and um, they're doing OK. So I have two monikers. One is Sharon Chan, and then one is Sharon Chan Music Covers, where I try to mix genres, classical, with originals and jazz. So I may just play and then later on um, say, the Facebook is on and uh, also YouTube. So I welcome you guys. Thanks for your comments, Greg, and there's somebody else on Facebook, I think. Um, so I have a very strong um, influences, uh, I would say Chopin and then Bach. So there's a lot of rubato. And I do have, like, I have a Chopin watch that has maybe 40,000 views on YouTube. And some people, um, they're like, oh, you playing it wrong. But I played with rubato, and there is Chopin, Chopin rubato, where you don't play strictly in time. Um, it's a waltz. So when you turn and you curtsy, sometimes, you know, it's a little faster. It's a take and pull. And, um, sometimes the children, I think they're like high school. They don't understand. So they're always like, you don't sound like this person. Well, 
you know, an artist, you play the way you feel it. And Monet doesn't play, Monet doesn't um, paint the sun the same way as, you know, Rembrandt or Van, Van Gogh. So, uh, Monet, so they're all, they're all different. Each artist has a different view. So I hope people would give me like free interpretation of how I interpret my songs and not always like, oh, you didn't play it like this person, you didn't play, you know, I don't know. But anyways, um, that was the Dragon Waltz, and that is also about um, the Chinese and um, the Western, they have different views on the dragon. Like the Chinese, um, the dragon is peaceful, and the Western dragon is a little bit more ferocious, but um, they have like fantasy that is uh, almost the same. Like Chinese also have sc fantasy schools like Hogwarts where they're learning um, spells and tricks and stuff like that in the immortal world. So this is, I have some of this influence from the Dragon Waltz. And also, um, I'm also talking about harmony between peace and women and men because um, the phoenix and the dragon is yin yang and husband wife black and white and in order for nature to live harmoniously there's an endless cycle between them
So I'm just kind of playing random devils hit the road jack. And I am playing that because um, I did do TikTok before. TikTok's in a weird state. Like, now they want you to pay for promotion. You have to pay them $20. Or it seems like they're not going to promote you. So I'm, I'm easy, I may quit TikTok for now. But that was hit the road jack. So sometimes, oh, can classical musicians play, you know, different genres? Well, they can, but, you know. I guess um, it, it depends on the personality as well. And then um, I played some of, I think I played over the rainbow. And um, this is like practice. So I'm going to play um, La Courage Dame. And I really haven't practiced since my surgery. <laughs> it was uh, quite painful. Thank you. 
Thank you.
um, so that, that was like practice run. Um, that's something um, I haven't, I don't think I've mastered it yet, but I'm working on it. It's swing jazz, and that's Disney. Um, Disney kind of repeats a lot, but it's actually quite technically um, a lot more difficult than I thought. So I'm going to play um, my Morning Breeze in D, and then I may end with some Chopin, and it's going to be a short session today. Thank you. And don't forget, if you like this, if you like Real Lives, um, subscribe to my channel, like, and don't forget, I have a new release, What Was I Made For? And it's pop, turn classical. It's uh, a classical version of the pop song by Billie Eilish. Thank you. 
Um, so I mixed in um, some jazz and Chopin. And um, so mainly the classical with Chopin and a little Schumann. I don't play a lot because Facebook will always say that I'm copying Sony's Sony's um, artists, so I get into a lot of trouble. But um, if I don't play Chopin, there's like nothing to play. So I showed, um, this is the original Chopin A minor. In the beginning, I showed a variation of how I took the melody, but I transported it into a different, um, a different kind of song and vibe. And so I'm going to say farewell to you. Don't forget to um, listen to my new release, uh, What Was I Made For? And that's with violin. I would play violin, but um, I have to change the camera angle, so I haven't figured that out. But if you like the lives, please subscribe to my YouTube or um, comment and like. And um, I'll see you next time. Um, goodbye from Phoenix. Thanks. Bye.